Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you have been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Going to get some messages to start your reading. Take one to me, please, the rest of someone else. This is a collective reading, not a personal reading. You all have not paid me, so this is free. <laughs> so you're going to have to take what is coming out, general messages. Um, I do not offer personal readings on here, although I do personal readings. I do not do them for the general public. I do them for people I actually know personally. And there is a fee associated with this, in which case, this is free. So this is not personal. So you're going to have to just kind of see, you know, get in where you fit in, see what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to force anything, y'all. Understand this could be past, present or future energy. Y'all have to understand what readings, because I noticed that people, some people watch tarot and they want like a magical answer. And you just have to understand this is spiritual. This is energetic. It's not going to be as cut and dry as you know, sitting down talking to your girlfriend or your homeboy and they know your situation and they can just give you their input. I don't know you all personally. And so I'm picking up the collective energy and whatever is coming through these cards is what's meant to come through. You know, I don't have any control over that. I can just interpret them intuitively and hope for the best. So I hope these um, messages resonate with you and you get something from it. You may not resonate with the whole message. It may be someone else I'm talking to, but um. Just understand that there's, there still may be elements of the reading that will resonate with you. So we have, you are a child of the universe, no less than the effing stars. Okay, Libra. So we are stars. We are stars. As above, so below. We got two cards and I'm going to take both. Oh, no, you have three. I guess I have to take all three. So we have Between Worlds, number three, Not For You, number six, and then uh, Peace, number 23 here. Okay. Some of you could have had some, some somebody could like to play ch uh, chess. Be really, really good at chess here. And um, someone could have recently eaten at like a Chinese restaurant. You could love Chinese food. You had a fortune cookie. Maybe you discovered something in your fortune cookie, the fortune, and it was relevant to whatever is going on in your life right now. It resonated with you. Some of you are making some kind of decision to walk away from something towards something new here, something that's going to bring you some peace because you're discovering that something is not for you. Okay. What else can we bring to here, Spirit? We have romance angels are helping you. So this is a romantic connection. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes, and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us recognize each other and having the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. So your angels are helping you to meet your soulmate. Just let your soul go. Just let it shine through. Somebody been watching Coming to America. Maybe somebody moving to America. I don't know. Why, why did that come up just now? <laughs> Okay, let's see. We have perseverance. Um, you may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Okay. Wonderful changes lie ahead for you. You are a star, no less. Okay. You are a child of the universe, and the universe is conspiring to help you meet your soulmate. Spirit, what is it that's going on with Libra right now? What's that Karen energy, Spirit? What is Libra's Karen energy, Spirit? Faded. High, drunk, bad habits, and disconnected. Okay. So somebody trying to sober up, get clean and sober. Um, maybe that's what this perseverance is. Maybe somebody has addictions here. You can have addictions right now. Because I'm asking about your energy. So some of you could be struggling with smoking, drinking too much, partying too much, or just being emotionally disconnected, not wanting. I mean, look at this energy that you're walking away from. This very dark, somber energy over here. You could be feeling really defeated right now because something wasn't for you because you're walking away from someone and finding your peace. Okay. So what is it that Libra doesn't see coming? Spirit. Well, you got a baddie coming, okay? Or you about to be a baddie. Divine feminine, sensual goddess, yin. So you about to find the yang to your yin or the yin to your yang. What is the challenge here? What's the challenge for Libra? Here. Uh oh, somebody been caught. I just heard red. 
Lights they shine all through the night. Baby, it's yours if you want it tonight. Somebody's coming in to give you the red light special. Somebody coming in to give you some TLC because somebody else has been failing. A failed attempt, blockage, interferences, third party. Somebody on social media that you met, they don't like your pictures. They used to. But if you met them on social media and you started dating them, all of a sudden they switched up on you. They liking everybody else's pictures. They commenting and you were in your feelings about it. <laughs> What's this outcome? The chosen one. Wow, this is the third reading that card has come through for. And it was Aries, Taurus, Gemini, one of those. And Cancer or Leo. I don't know, y'all. Outcome is big mad. So somebody about to be big mad. Anger issues, emotionally charged, and impulsive. Whoever this person is that ain't been giving you what you needed in the romance department is getting replaced. Because you are disconnecting from them. Okay. Let's, let's get some tarot and see what this is all about. What is this here? What is this um, faded energy with Libra? Why is Libra coming through as faded, apparently? Libra. We got the Nine of Wands. The Six of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you are guarded, guarded, guarded. Defensive, defensive, defensive. And you are over it. You are ready to move on. Could be dealing with uh, um, Sagittarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, another one, another Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or a Scorpio here. So somebody here that you got a lot of history with, you just over it. You're defensive, you're tired, you're guarded. You got boundaries. What you don't see coming here is the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Oh, wow. So you got a Leo. Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces coming towards you, seeing you as their Queen of Cups, or they're going to be your Queen of Cups, giving you a lot of unconditional love, compassion, support, empathy. This person is fantasizing about you. I feel like y'all going to have a really whimsical relationship, but it's going to be successful, and somebody could be in the spotlight with their Six of Wands. Politics, sports, entertainment, or have aspirations to be. Some of you could be a model. Some of y'all just Instagram famous, IG famous. Okay, Koch Block, Ace of Wands, The Fool, and the Ten of Swords. So you're dealing with somebody that backstabbed you, betrayed you. Could be a Gemini. We got Aquarius Energy here with The Fool. So this is somebody that just kind of came in, went out. Especially with this Ace of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is a, like a, a fire that's really hot and then it burns out really quickly here. So short-lived romance, and this person's off to the next thing as this fool. The fool comes and sweeps you off your feet, and then he drops you and moves on to someone else. Especially if you met this person on social media, I picked that up. Like, that's probably how they meet people. They're victims, you know? Chosen one. We have the three of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles, and we have the page of cups. Okay, so some of you have a younger water sign coming towards you. Somebody who's really infatuated with you. Their intuition is telling them that you're the one. And spirit is also telling you to trust your intuition. This person is one of a kind. This person is going to make the effort for you. You can be friends with this person. You can work with this person. You can be in business with this person or meet them in a business capacity. So who is this with these uh, anger issues? Hmm. Some of you are some Pisces. Some of you are some Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, so we got the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody that broke their promises. And now they're seeing someone else have you and they don't like it. This was a greedy, materialistic person, a person after their riches and success here. But this is someone who's devastated that you're moving on with someone else. And what you going to do about it? It ain't your business. That ain't your problem. Okay, what are the messages here for Libra Spirit? What does Libra need to hear right now? Messages for Libra. In relation to this connection that they're walking away from or walking towards. What is it that Libra needs to hear? We have lies, lies and partial truth. So you're dealing with somebody that was telling you half truth here. Could be an Aquarius. Two more messages, Spirit. We have a second option. They could have treated you like a second second option, or you have another option coming in here. 
he did have the seven of cups which talks about having options and that's in what you don't see coming and then we have i am their light okay some of y'all are going to end up getting pregnant by this person y'all gonna have a baby girl and then we have there will be a return so this person is wanting to come back that's your this person here but you're moving on let's use this deck here and get a couple of general messages well no these are love messages a couple of love messages there's some general messages and that will be it let's see i need more time if i committed to you right now it would ruin us trust me i am not ready although i know you're the one for me we have name dropping and clout chasing. This person is insecure and superficial, annoying, empty, shallow. This is a social climber trying to fit in. I just told y'all that's who y'all walking away from. This person that was so preoccupied with their money. I lost the cards. Um, we have incompatible. So you and this person are incompatible. You could be dealing with a Leo. There was a clash of egos. This person is very jealous, very controlling, very negative, very competitive. Yeah, but they won't let you go at the same time. We have good intentions. This is a new person coming in. Could be a Capricorn or a Cancer with a stable offer for you. I just saw the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have an open hearted. That's the Queen of Cups. So could be any water sign actually or any earth sign. And then we have whatever you need from me that is in my power to give is all yours. I am an open book. I have no desire or reason to hide anything from you anymore. I've done my work and transformed myself. So this person is wanting to come back. Yeah, because we had there will be a return. So they want to come back. But we have people don't want to see us together. And the last card is tag along. This person had a third party. Um, this says a sidekick, a wingman, a cheerleader, road dog, partner, co-defendant, backup. And I feel like this is like a backup plan. This could also be this person's shadow self. Hmm. They wanted to take you along for the ride too. I, I heard that. Like just take you along for the ride, just playing games. And they may try to clean their act up, but um, you have the chosen one coming in. And you nobody can compete with the chosen one. Okay, honey. All right, Libra. Thank you for joining me. I'm gonna tell you all, like I told Leo and uh, Virgo, y'all can pass the word to the other signs that came before. Because I didn't mention this to them, but I am changing up the way that I'm doing these readings. I'm gonna do the zodiac signs every day. But Monday through Thursday, I will only do like five minute readings. I'm going to do a six card spread for you all. And it's going to be a pretty short, about five minutes. And then on Fridays, I'll do the extended like this, where I go into more depth and um, explain more of what I pick up for the, you know, the coming week. And then the other readings will be more like, maybe like refills, you know, get your, your, uh, your tall glass of orange juice or drink of choice on Fridays as a prelude to the following week. And then I'll just kind of like tap y'all. It's called tap you off. I think it's called tap you off. I'll tap y'all off Monday through Thursday. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. Like, oh wait, I didn't get one of these. I didn't get any of these. Okay, right, put y'all out of here. I knew this reading was too short. Look at this, look what's coming out. Y'all dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, an Aries or Sagittarius. You have narcissism. We have indiscretions. Look, the old way won't bring new results. It's time for a change. Use emotional intelligence. It's Pisces energy. Some of you can have Pisces placements. And then we have the road to success is not a straight line. It has its share of uh, twists and turns. Don't get discouraged by challenges. Overcome obstacles. Chariot energy. Some of you can have a cancer coming towards you. And then we have ignore it. Some of y'all are walking away from a Scorpio and Aries here. Could even be filing for divorce, some of you. And I see candles. I feel like you're really going to a zen place. Very peaceful place here. It says burn out, time to relax. Light your candles, play soft music, and take a relaxing bubble bath. So those are your messages. I'll see you all next week. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. And um, I hope y'all come back. You know. Because we got room here on the um, on the plane in first class for those who like the final things in life, you know. So I will see you all next week. Peace. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.